Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about how to implement the mathematical concept of matrices using Python. We have already learned all the concepts theoretically. From now, we will see how to do that using Python coding. In specific, we are going to use the numpy python library that is numerical python library i have already created a video course on numpy the playlist link is mentioned in the video description you can check it in addition to that whatever we are coding it in the jupyter notebook the code will be available in my github repository the same path will be mentioned in the video description so without wasting time, we'll start matrices using Python. In the first video, I have explained how a matrices will look like. A matrices will look like which contains rows and columns combination. In this first example, it is two rows, four columns, which is also called as size or shape or dimension of the matrices. And here the total number of elements are 8 that is 4 into 2 equal to 8. Now we will create the same example using Python. We want to create a matrix with two rows and four columns for that capital A or small a. We have to mention these values inside the list. So list is represented by square brackets the first value 1 9 7 3 this is the first row value comma then second row value 4 6 12 1 so the above example we have to give like this using python we are creating it just check print a run it now matrix is created using python but i already said we are going to use the numerical python library the reason because the numerical pythons are best in handling multi-dimensional values in this example it is 2d but in real time scenarios we may have n dimensional almost thousand dimension two thousand dimension if we are coming across such type of scenario then performance and other factors are important for that numerical python is the best option now the same example going to create using numpy in order to use the numpy we have to import numpy library as np so from now you can use np then a equal to np dot array within this give this value the values are mentioned like list within the list run it you can print like this but the good practice is always use the command print when you print it we got matrices like above example so this is how we have to create using the numpy array now in order to check the dimension of this array you have to use the command a dot a is an array here n dim variable a contains this particular matrices that's why i am using a dot n dim if you run it this is the two dimensional array and you want to know how many rows and columns for that we have to use the shape function just run it it is two rows four columns two rows four columns then find the total number of elements for that it is a dot size totally we have eight elements then i want to find what is the length of an array length of an array usually we used to find a length of a list string and so on when you check that length of an npy it will display the size of the first dimension 
if you are fresher this point will confuse you but no worries just check the basics python video so that you will get more clarity on this so len of a run at so this is the length of the first dimension the length of the first dimension is 2 then what is the data type this particular matrix belongs to a dot d type so it is an integer 32 bit because we have used all the values which belongs to integer that's why we got this particular value short recap for the example which i have explained in the video we are creating the matrices using python then using numpy library so if you want to use the numpy library first we have to import it then this is the syntax for that np.array and mention the number of rows using the list list means using the square bracket then we are printing it in order to find the dimension we use endim in order to find the shape we use shape then to find the total number of element we use size then to find the length we use len and to check the data type we use d type we have covered all important methods which we use it for matrices then in that video we did three assignment we have to find the order and the total elements in the matrix order means this particular value here it is shape 2, two cross 2 2 cross 4 5 cross 4 for that first we have to create the array since I have already imported the numpy library so no need to type it again and again I am directly using it np dot array inside the array we have to use the list since it's a two row so we have to use nested list first list contains the first row it is 2 comma 10 and second list contains the value 9 comma 7 so we have created the matrix then I am just printing the array then shape is used to find the order and size is used to find the total number of element so for this particular matrix it is a 2 row 2 column that is correct then total number of elements is 4 same way the second example you can guess this is like the above example within a list you have to use two list so b equal to np dot array here we have to enter two rows using the list so it is created now checking the values the array is displayed the shape is two row four columns yes it is correct then total number of elements is 8 then third problem it is 5 row 4 column it means within a list we have to mention 5 number of list so c equal to array so we have the list within this number of rows I have mentioned like this hope you are getting it then trying to print the value so it's a 5 cross 4, 5 rows 4 column and total number of elements is 20. Hope you got a clear picture how to create the matrices using python and a numpy array. That's about the introduction to matrices. In the next video we will learn about type of matrices using numpy. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you will get notification of every video uploads. Thank you.